Okay, first time in the sim. Uh, both both light switches on. Uh, we we'll come over here. We got some remotes. Remote for the heat pump. Here's for the projector. Point the green button at the projector. It'll turn green. Come on over to the computer. Open the right door. Power button is here on top. Make sure the monitor is on, right there. You'll come to the screen. If for some reason the computer doesn't load, just hit the power button off and then on again. Hit the space bar. Password is my phone number, 207-431-1111. Okay, first thing we're looking to do here, uh, the control box right here. We're gonna double click that. Then we're just gonna minimize it. What that does is it makes it so you can control some options here, club selection, aiming, uh, flyover, some various go to aim point, stuff like that. After that, we're gonna double click this launcher shortcut, you're gonna get this screen. Click on GS Pro. It'll take a moment to load. Click OK. Uh, sorry, click play. You're gonna have this screen pop up here. It's gonna say, in the middle here, is gonna say, waiting for LM to connect, and then it's gonna say, connected. Uh, you're all set. Do not close this box, just minimize it. Okay, you'll come to the screen. If you'd like to practice, uh, just go to the practice round. Um, you'll, you'll click on that and see some options. Now, in order to set up a local match, um, whether it be stroke play or scramble, let's say for example, let's go to, we'll check out this place called Lakewood Golf Course. Um, you're gonna click play course on the right here. now. For some reason you want to search for a course um, that's on the server, you have to come over here and select show all courses. That'll show all courses. You can then search them here. Now I'm not going to guarantee that, I mean, there's four or five hundred plus courses on here, but they might have a slightly different name. You can search over here by name, uh, newest, oldest, location, the designer, availability, stuff like that. But um, that's show all courses. So then you have to download it. I don't mind if you do doesn't only takes a couple minutes. All right, so we'll click. Without that box selected, these are all the courses that have been downloaded. So the first one we're gonna go to, we'll check it out here again, is Lakewood Golf Course, play course. Now, you're gonna go down here, uh, create, create new player. We'll click on that. We'll add Joe. Hit add. That'll put them right there, all right? So you have to have a person selected in this first one, this first player. So there's a couple different options. Um, if you're already on the list, great. Uh, you can go down, you can put Joe there, and then you can put someone different on the next one. Now, if we're playing a uh, two-person scramble, uh, we'll just leave, uh, we'll put me as uh, the second one. We got Joe and Jesse. Now, this is where you're gonna select your tees. Um, all right, just look at the distance uh, on that one. Uh, select for the other person too. Now you're gonna wanna, if you're doing a scramble, you're gonna wanna put your team on the same color. So if we had two more players selected here, you could put them both on both blue or both green or whatever. All right, then we're gonna go to match settings. On match settings, we have a couple options here. We have stroke play, we have scramble. Um, if you're putting it on scramble, you just oh, that's fine. You just have to make sure those the 
two people or four people are all selected on the same color. You can have different tees. Um, now, if you change the tees here, that'll change it for everyone. Pins, we'll leave it on the default. Uh, gimme, auto putt. So if it's on 20, that means it's a 20 foot circle for an for a uh, one putt or for a one putt gimme. Uh, you can, as you can see, you can adjust that 20, 18, 16, 12, all the way down to two. I recommend somewhere around 10. Um, the other option is auto putt fix with chip. Um, basically, all you're gonna do is drive and hit your iron and then it's gonna auto chip and putt for you. Not that fun. Um, pick your putt, not fun. Auto putt random, I wouldn't do it. Um, we got auto putt fix is a really good one. Uh, the league will be played on that often. That gives you a one putt circle and a two putt circle. And if you're outside the two putt circle, it'll give you a three putt. I mean, putting still happens sometimes because if you're just off the green, you can still putt. Just remember to change your club. So we'll say it's auto putt fixed. Uh, this just gives you the course elevation. We'll leave it on the normal stimp. Um, over here, uh, the default, we'll keep it the fairway firmness hard, green firmness soft. But I will put that on the sheet for the league week. All right, once you're ready there and you've done that, we put it on Scrambo, you can just go to play golf. And you're all set. Coming over here, you'll see on the on the floor, we got the four dots, uh, one up there, one over here, down here, down here, and then the box in the middle. The box in the middle is just for when the club is on driver. And if you see on the screen here, that's where it shows the club on driver. All right. Uh, anything outside of that, I recommend we're hitting uh, somewhere between, you know, that behind that box in the front, or you can hit in front of it as well. All right, so on our screen here, that's what club is selected. It's really only important to have, to have the, uh, if you're hitting a driver, to have driver selected. Other than that, if you want to putt, make sure it's on putter. If it's not on putter, it probably won't read. That's who's up next, all right? It'll also show you so you can be ready how far away the next person is. Uh, we had Joe on, looks like he's on like ladies tees. And Jesse is, I think, on men's tees. But that'll show you your distance from the green. Uh, just to understand the game a little bit, uh, you see how it says carry game and carry raw. So carry raw is what you actually, how far you actually hit the ball in perfect conditions. Uh, carry game is the different factors based off your lie. And if you're in the deep rough, huh? and this right here, where it says T right now, will tell you what your lie is. If you're in the deep rough, you're gonna lose about 20%. Um, down here on the bottom shows you your lie angle, uh, degrees up and down. So if you're like five degrees to the right, your ball's gonna go to the right. Even though your, your lie on the floor, on the ground is always the same, on the floor it's always the same, you have to take in factor that on the game lie, you're either like lying to the right or the left, just like in real golf. Um, you gotta take that in factor. So if you're five degrees to the right, you might wanna aim a little more left. Um, so those are some, some of the things to think about. This white line around this particular course is out of bounds. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said over here, uh, this is the control board. This is me if I start pushing the, if I'm aiming left or right. It'll default always to a, a good good spot in the middle of the fairway. Uh, you got the club selection. You probably can't see it, but that changes the club over there. You got a flyover button. And if you hit the flyover button again, it'll go back. Uh, you have a go to aim point, which will take you to, so you can see the slope on the green. Hit that again, it goes away. There's this button called B right here. Um, what B does, if you're like in the woods, it'll uh, dis make any uh, trees disappear that you're not going to hit. If you hit the B button and there's still a tree there, that means that tree is in front of you and is gonna, is gonna, you're going to hit it, likely. Um, other than that, we don't use too many other things on here, but go to aim point, hide objects, fly over, club up, down, aim left, right. All right, enjoy.